Franklin Pierce's legacy is somewhat of a tragedy. His presidency, he was elected rather easily. He was very charismatic, very handsome, very well liked by Northern and Southerners alike. He was a young president. At that time, he was the youngest elected. He was only 48. His legacy and his presidency took a tragic turn. Early on, Pierce and his wife Jane had three children, two of which died before their first birthday of typhoid. Their only remaining living son, 11 years old at the time of his election, Benny, was on a train ride with his parents when the train had an accident and Benny was decapitated in front of both of his parents. His wife Jane, very deeply religious, deeply religious, decided that this was a sign from God that he was not meant to be in politics. Following this tragedy, he was inaugurated and was the only president to be affirmed to the presidency rather than sworn in to the presidency and affirmed himself upon a law book rather than a Bible. Six weeks following his inauguration, his vice president, King, died. Franklin Pierce maintained throughout his presidency a very aloof attitude. He was very easily swayed in one direction or another and eventually found himself being manipulated by members of his cabinet and his Senate to the point where the Kansas-Nebraska Act was something that he did not think he had any responsibility for. The Kansas-Nebraska Act was the biggest tragedy of Pierce's presidency. Up until this point, the Missouri Compromise was in place since the 1820s, which meant that the southern states, those falling below the southern Missouri line, were allowed slaves, and those above the southern Missouri line were free states. When Kansas, Nebraska was purchased, Franklin Pierce decided that they would be allowed to choose whether they would like to be a slave state or a non-slave state, which essentially demolished the Missouri Compromise and lost Pierce all of the support of those Northerners who had got him elected in the first place. When re-election came up, Franklin Pierce thought that he was a shoe in He did not think that he would not be nominated again by his party especially, and it turns out Franklin Pierce is the only president as of 2008 to never have been re-nominated by his own party. Following all of this fiasco, he returned to New Hampshire and decided that he was going to attempt to stay in politics and his reputation had been completely and utterly destroyed. Following his wife's death, he went further into his drinking and his alcoholism and eventually died of cirrhosis.